these videos are far and few between for me so I'm just gonna get right into it my first fashion favorite of the month is or not even of the month just in general has been this shirt and the button right here is broken so I'm sorry I know that this is gonna bother <laughs> this is gonna bother a lot of you out there but I got this from a fast fashion boutique from Australia I think it's called oh hey girl you wouldn't expect to find this type of blouse on there but I found it just stalking on Instagram one night and I knew I had to have it I know it's an inspiration or knockoff of a really designer brand but it's amazing quality for the price it is a bit annoying um, having to button and unbutton all of these this is why I lost one of them so but I've been loving this as you can tell I've been wearing a lot on Instagram and then my second favorite for fashion has been and still micro sunglasses I think I talked about the Adam Selman list times list specs sunglasses I got ages ago in an old favorites video and your girl is still going strong these are from a sorted and I have them in brown white and red and I've just been rocking a lot of these and I freaking love them even though they're totally not functional and it's so trendy I felt real I feel and slash felt really stupid when I first tried these out I still feel stupid so but I still love these <laughs> if you know me I am never not wearing this necklace and this is a nameplate necklace that has Amy and gothic font and funny thing is I actually had to take it off because I got a facial and I ended up losing it and I was so sad so I had to go get myself a new one and that's how you know it's a favorite because this is my second necklace and this is from the M jewelers and I've just been really enjoying the M jewelers because if you're like me I shower with my jewelry on and I kid you not that and I shower pretty often yeah, I think. <laughs> and that necklace did not rust or do anything and it was totally worth the investment. I've also just been liking really golden pendant or coin necklaces like this one right here. These are both from the M Jewelers, so yeah. I'm such a fan of what I call the art ho earrings and an art ho is someone who is a lover of the fine arts, the modern arts, anything. And this is the type of earring that I think he or she would wear and they just look very artsy. And I'm wearing a pair of art ho earrings right now. These are from 20 Strays, but I've been just enjoying so much of their earrings. This one's just a huge golden crinkle type of earring and i've been loving these face earrings i can't afford the real ones so i have these little guys and i also posted these on my instagram so if you guys want to see how i style anything that i talk about check out my instagram first all right moving into skincare you guys know i love skincare because i am korean and i've struggled with mild to moderate acne so i kind of had to love skincare but my first favorite for skincare has got to be the crave matcha hemp hydrating cleanser now if you guys are familiar with Leah Yu, please check her out. She is not only a skincare guru, but she's also one of my good friends who I got to meet this past year through YouTube. And she actually has a skincare line and she has taught me so much about skincare and acne and the causes of acne. And so when I found out she had a line, I was stoked because honestly, I really trust her opinion. And if it's her skincare, it must be good. So this is the Matcha Hemp Hydrating Cleanser and I love it because it is super effective and doesn't strip away. It is really gentle. I have very sensitive skin and I found that a lot of acne cleansers were just stripping away my skin and it was causing me to dry out which then produced more oils so I really love how gentle this is and if you're someone who struggles with mild to moderate acne or just even I think this cleanser is for everybody so I love her entire line she only has two or three products out right now but I just wanted to give this one um, a mention first and foremost I've heard so much about Tata Harper because it's hundred percent natural and non-toxic and this is the hydrating floral essence and I don't really know what essence is but I just do know that Korean people love it and use it in their routine it's something you use after toner right before moisture Riser, moisturizer and I love this one um, it does have quite a bit of a fragrance but it does not break me out and I do think that maybe it's because it is hundred percent natural I've used a good quarter amount of it and I love the packaging it's bright green it's glass feels very luxe and the mist comes out really nicely so I've just been really loving this essence I'm gonna do a whole how I cured my acne slash skincare video where I'm gonna mention this but I have been loving Curology I've heard this being talked about everywhere so I'm not gonna say too much about it but I've been loving Curology and if you guys are curious what's in my formula it is azelaic acid clindamycin and zinc perithione 
I hope I said that right. But Curology, gotta give it a shout. I've loved it so much. I've never loved a mask more than I love this one. And typically when we think of the Korean sheet mask, we think of a really wet, liquidy mask that's kind of just drenched in toner and essences and all that good stuff. But if you have dry skin or just even normal skin, you're gonna really love this mask. And this is the Surasu Concentrated Ginseng Renewing Creamy Mask. And it comes in two pieces and it's such a also luxe packaging. It's a two-piece mask, that's what I'm trying to say, and it doesn't have essence or toner. It is instead filled with a bunch of this creamy ginseng lotion, and it's just so luxurious, and I think it, I believe it heats up on your face a little bit. It has like a warming effect, but I, I feel like it's cooling, but I just noticed that this really helps my skin really get moisturized. I actually only have one left out of the whole box, and if you're not familiar with Surasu, I think I'm saying that right, hopefully. Surwasu? I don't know. But if you're not familiar with them, they are basically a high-end luxury skincare Korean brand. And it's kind of like SK2 in a sense. It's kind of like along those ranks. But I've just been really loving this mask. And this is a skincare brand that's been loved by my mom as well. So gotta give this a shout all right makeup as I've said before because I struggle with acne I have just never been a foundation type of girl and there are only a handful of foundations that I own that I use and I wanted to talk about two that I have been loving and the first is something that I've been really late on the train because I've heard so much about it and I knew I wanted to try it um, this is the hourglass cream or stick foundation and I'm in the color sand and I love hourglass the package is so amazing um, as you can tell I've used it a lot because it is quite dirty I love how creamy this foundation is but it's not overly moisturizing or oily sometimes I do feel like it does leave me a little bit dry just because I do have dry skin but you can just add in extra moisturizer or oil before you do that and I've been loving it with the hourglass foundation brush it's so dense and pocket size um, it's just a cute little duo I freaking love this stuff this is the second foundation that I've been loving and this is also a cream foundation and it's from flesh beauty which is actually a new beauty brand I think sold at Ulta by the founding editor of of Allure magazine and I was lucky enough to go to their event because Sandy invited me but I love all of their marketing and their packaging I have their whole line but this has definitely got to be my favorite product because it looks so natural super lightweight but it has pretty good coverage in my opinion I feel like both of these foundations are for the girl that loves a tinted moisturizer or the BB cream because that's what I like I don't like a heavy cakey foundation I like something lightweight breathable on the skin this is the Marc Jacobs do you do drops and this is a coconut gel highlighter I personally don't use this as a highlighter but what I've been doing is putting a half pump into my foundation or my BB cream and mixing it with the end of my brush and I've just been really loving the dew and the sheen that it adds to my foundation or my BB cream it's just a crazy luminosity I honestly didn't start using this product for real until I figured out how to just incorporate it in my little foundation. I never used to wear blush and I think part of that is because I had never really experimented or bought blush and this is my favorite. This is also from Hourglass and this is their ambient lighting blush in mood exposure and I feel like this is the same color as maybe, uh, what is that one tart color? That everybody likes exposed I don't know I think that's what it is it's kind of like a muted dark mauve pink I don't oh, I'm so terrible but I love this because it's got a marbled highlighting effect to it and so when you add it it just has so much glow and if you know me at all I love glow I love dew I love even oil because I think oil is better than looking super super dry and desiccated so I've been loving this blush I am so excited that the lip matte trend is over because I have always been a glossy gal lipstick is my favorite beauty product of all time because I think it's such an accessory it really elevates and adds to an outfit or changes the vibe and even if you're not wearing makeup lipstick can just really change up your whole face um, but this is YSL glossy stain and this is in 409 and I have about seven of these in different colors but this is just a true red that I've been loving so the glossy stain is basically exactly what you think it is it's a lip gloss that stays on and even when the gloss part disappears the stain of the color stays on your lips so it is so good for when you're eating when you are going out I just love the way glossy lips look they look so editorial but if you're not 
not a glossy girl, I have this one, which is the YSL Lip Matte Stain, and this is in number nine. And YSL Beauty makes some of my favorite lip products, not only because they are beautiful in packaging, but also the quality is really there. They don't make your lips look crinkly and gross. I just love a moisturizing lip product. So YSL, I love these. I've always loved these. I can't believe I haven't talked about them before. But I think a lot of the products I love are products that I've loved for almost a decade. You can tell I'm really excited that the lip gloss trend is coming back because I love this new Marc Jacobs product and I love a lot of Marc Beauty's makeup products because I think they're high quality and great in packaging. And I know as vapid as that sounds, packaging really does play a big part in whether or not I buy it because I mean makeup is kind of the pursuit of vanity and I do want things to look aesthetically pleasing when I'm carrying it. It makes me feel happy holding it and I know that sounds super superficial but at least I'm going to be honest. Um, I still love drugstore products for their quality but definitely having something pretty in your purse makes you feel good at least for me. And so this is the new Marc Jacobs hydrating lip gloss stick and what's really cool is that it's shaped like a lip gloss bottle but when you pull it it's kind of like in a lipstick tube and I love it because when you put it on it's super hydrating and it goes on as a cloth. I have a few of these in my collection but my favorite color is this one and it's called Uh Huh Honey which also reminds me of a Kanye song so I like it even more. <laughs> I feel like I'm super late to the buxom trend but I recently got invited to one of their events and I finally got to try out their lip glosses and I love menthol minty lip glosses because it just feels so refreshing and even though I'm so not for the plumping lip plumping trend I love these because it just feels so refreshing on your lips. I'm wearing it now. I feel like I'm kind of addicted to the menthol feeling and the menthol taste. This doesn't taste like menthol but it just gives you that tingly lip sensation and it feels weird but in a good way and so I have a couple of these but this one's in the color Dolly and I just actually put this over my YSL lip matte stain. As a Sephora collection brand ambassador I get to try out a lot of their products and I did a video with their lip stories which is their $8 lipsticks and this is my favorite color it is a super 90s brown color. Sometimes I'll apply this and then I'll apply the Aha uh -huh Honey Marc Jacobs gloss over it because it's such a good color match. This one is in 10 and it's called yum yum but this is basically my favorite color out of the entire collection besides the basic red besides the classic reds red is always my favorite lip color <laughs> I feel like I've tried every lip balm product out there because I have such dry lips probably from wearing so much lip product all the time but I have tried every lip product out there that moisturizes the first aid beauty one is really awesome I have used the Glossier lip balm and that really expensive $50 rose lip balm that everyone likes oh it's from the brand called by Terry and everybody loves that I also have that one but if you are looking for something similar to that this is pretty much that but a better smell in my opinion and better taste and for a fraction of the price I think this is $14 and this is a Korean beauty brand called Laneige and this is their lip sleeping mask and I was sleeping on this for a while but I've been using this for over a year you apply this at night and it just feels so good on your lips and also smells like a strawberry banana smoothie uh, I got this from Amazon moving on on into scents and hair care. My favorite scent is Jo Malone Basil and Neroli Cologne. I only have the sample size but I've been using it sparingly because I love it. It's got a very unisex smell to it, very androgynous. I love Jo Malone's Wood Sage and Sea Salt Perfume Cologne. So if you like that as well, you're probably gonna like this. Check it out. Genetically, I have super thick and super fast growing hair and I think I've bleached my hair about seven times in one year and my hairstylist was like, you could probably still keep going because it is so healthy and strong but I just recently cut off four to five inches of my hair it was almost down to my butt and I cut off pretty much all the dead uh, ends or all the highlighted or bleached ends of my balayage from years ago because I used to have really blonde hair but the number one hair product that I always use it's my holy grail and I'm always vouching for is hair oil I use hair oil almost every single day not so much anymore because my hair is so healthy because I cut off all the dead ends but this is one that I've been using and this is from Gizu and this is a honey infused hair oil and this is by the very well-known fashion blogger Negan Mirsalehi I hope I said that right Negan Negan Mirsalehi but I've already used half of the bottle and I'm using it sparingly because because it's a very expensive product and I've tried pretty much any hair oil there is on the market. I really love the Living Proof one and 
I've also used R Co, Bumble and Bumble. I'm also using the Paul Mitchell one, which I actually don't really like that much. But I love this packaging. It is so luxe and so beautiful. It just is so conducive to me using it. And like I said, I'm using it sparingly. This falls into the miscellaneous category, but I wanted to shout out a pad brand that I've been using, and this is called Nano Pad. And I've been just trying to be more mindful of the toxins and the additives I've been using in my everyday products. So trying to go for an all natural purpose cleaner and pads are something that I never really thought about so I like this one in particular because it's made without any fragrance additives medical drugs including any herbal medicines fluorescent materials or allergens and it's also hyperallergenic so I just want to give this a little shout I love this one this is in the regular <laughs> I only have one book favorite to share with you guys and this is the daily stoic journal and if you guys don't know the daily stoic is a book that actually has 365 days of passages and they're bite size and I have a lot of books like that I love it so much and my brother actually picked up this for me and I actually think I posted a passage of the daily stoic on my Instagram I'm gonna pop it up here but this is the journal companion to that book and it gives you a passage and you basically reflect and journal about that over the week and even if I don't journal over the week I do love reading the weekly passages so this is just a book that my brother got me even if I don't journal daily in this I do love of reading the weekly passages because I find so much insight. So the Daily Stoic Journal. Thanks, Kevin. Thanks, brother. <laughs> I have a whole summer 2018 playlist that I've been listening to on repeat. It's a whole lot of Destiny, Geek, Willow. I'm gonna leave it linked down below, but check it out. And these are a few of my favorite songs so far. I have been listening to them on repeat. I'm not ready for love. Oh my god, my leg is numb. That was so much. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Give this video a like. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!